Aaron, a new contract for you today. So, uh, you know, for you now, it's just about looking forward to, to next season and going from there. Yeah, can't wait to get going. The lads have come back in early. Uh, to It was under the old gaffer, but we've come back in early no matter what. And we've all come back in rearing. In the 21s, all of us come back and looking sharp. So get ready to impress the new gaffer when he comes in on Monday, yeah. You mentioned the new gaffer there. You know, it's uh, it's quite an exciting thing, really. Someone who's achieved a lot in the game. So I, I'm sure you're looking forward to, to working with him. Yeah, I can't wait, really. Uh, he's got a lot of experience, as you see. He's played a m many, many clubs. One of my favourite clubs, Man United, he's been there. So it'd be great to learn off him. And and all the lads are really looking forward to it, yeah. And, you know, looking forward to the next 12 months. Do you kind of set yourself personal targets or anything like that? Or is it just kind of taking it, seeing how things go and, and then taking it from there? No, you always want to try and impress everyone. So you want to... You want to get a good start and try and aim to be in the first team, be around it. That's always everyone's first target. But after that, you always want to be out alone now. I've played 21s for a few years. I've been out alone, experienced it a bit, come back again. So hopefully I ever get in the first team. And if I don't, I have to go out alone and impress out there. You obviously had that experience with Dundee United last year, chance to go away. I mean, you probably but didn't go quite as smooth as you wanted. They had a change of manager midway through the season, so I guess it's still a learning curve for you, there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a good experience. I, I played a decent handful of games up there. So, and under the manager that was there to start with, he liked me a lot. And then under the new manager that came in, he liked me as well. But he had a lot of pressure under him, so he brought in some big key players, as you saw, Guy Demel, players that had been there and done it, and obviously they took my place, but. Hey, I had a great experience. It was, it was a long, quite far away from home, and hey, it's part of the learning curve you have. Everyone has to do it. You go through it. Everyone has their ups and downs. I had three or four good seasons before it, and had one bad season. I wouldn't say it was bad. It was just a learning curve season where I had to become a man and realise what I've got to do and how I've got to be to to push on. Yeah, that's the important part, isn't it? You don't want a single year where you're standing still. You've you've learnt things. You've every year you can look back on the last twelve months and say you've uh, you've achieved something else. So yeah. Yeah, so hopefully I can use my experience from last season to, to guide me and push me to get a good start this season. And as you say, you've had that experience a little bit of first team football here and I'm sure you'd want to be getting around it and this is your chance now to, to kind of impress the new gaffer. Yeah, if you ask everyone, once you have a, a taste of your first team football, oh, you, you want it again, there's nothing like it. Playing 21s is good and playing out on loan, but what, you want to be playing for the club that, you, that represents you and you want to, you want to represent them and oh, it's, it's a great feeling to, to go and do it. So. Everyone, everyone's desire is to play first in football for the club that you, you're owned by. Well, fingers crossed it's another good 12 months. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.